Okay guys, this is BMW 2008 750i and I'm having this issue here as you can see those uh, someone installed wrong bolts and the thread uh, is ruined right now so I'm gonna be replacing uh, rear hub and front hub so pretty much the whole vehicle uh, all four so I'm gonna start with the front one so I'm gonna start by putting uh, wheel chocks on the other side Just gonna put some wood blocks for uh, both wheels, front and rear. Make sure your parking brake is on. Now I'm gonna jack up the car. Um, there is a not sure where it looks like it's missing the spot here where it has to be like a plastic here for the jack okay so with a 17 millimeter socket See how bad this is. So that's why I'm replacing the hub and the bearing. They come together um, because otherwise uh, your wheel can come off, and you don't want to crash because of the um, the hub. And pretty much all of them are ruined. Not just the bolts, but the hub itself. Okay, if you look at the thread on the inside, it's ruined. There's nothing you can do but replace. Okay, so this is how the, uh, the bearing and the hub looks like uh, I took it off from the other side so I did the whole side like the rear and the front from the other side so now I'm gonna just show you how to do this so that's how it looks uh, there's like only like four balls that's holding it from the from the inside so So now I'm gonna remove this bolt here and yeah it's actually loose here uh, and I'm using this kind of tool. And just a ratchet. like 
two bolts. Um, where are they? They're right here. One right here and one on the bottom. Right there. So I just removed these. And since I have bad um, brake drums, this could be like a bit harder to remove. Uh, I mean the pads are good, but since I have this like uh, like an edge here, they might get stuck while removing it. So I'm just gonna put something in here and then you know take it off but but first I'm gonna remove those two bolts okay uh, I got the jack underneath and before I actually squeeze my head in there I'm gonna put a stand just in case if the jack fails so it doesn't actually uh, kill me so Okay, so um, I'm using a 18 millimeter socket for the bolts on the inside. Then I'm gonna use a kill socket, I guess, is what it's called. Um, you, got, you gotta be careful when using it because it actually can kill. Um, so, because, I mean, I, I can turn the wheel, but since I got some wood blocks over there, I just cannot fit my gun in there. So I'm gonna use this kill socket. Okay, I think I'm gonna still uh, start the, the car and turn the wheel like this so I can fit the gun in there because I have a long socket, it's all I have. But if it was like shorter, then it would fit, but that's what I have. So I'm just gonna risk and turn the wheel and, and try to remove it. Okay, I turned the wheel. Now I don't need the kill socket because I have enough space. And I'm just gonna remove. Okay. It looks like this was a bad idea uh, to um, to release this uh, uh, brake drum. First, we, we, I, I had to remove this one because, it, like, as you can see, it, it almost fell. Usually, it's hard to get it off, so that's why I did that. But in this case, I don't know why it came off that quick. So I'm just gonna put this on. And if it's gonna be loose, then I'm gonna tie this bolt back so I can remove this e more easier. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to hold it like in my hands and remove it. That would probably be harder. Put this bolt back in. Okay, guys, 
I put this bolt back in. Usually you have to like knock it with a hammer like um, with a rubber hammer like on on sides to get it off but this time it was like unbelievable. So guys learn from my mistakes. So now I'm gonna go grab something and just pull this off like that. And but before that I'm gonna disconnect those um, hoses and everything so I don't rip them it's gonna be hard to get it out Okay, so I, I move this one here, from here, from here, and got these loose, and now I'm removing this one, it's got like some uh, edges, so don't rip the, uh, the rubber thing, because of those edges. There we go. Pull this one out. And I'm just gonna, once I remove it, I'm gonna bring it up like uh, over here somewhere. Just put something underneath and just leave it here. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> this is the best tool that I found for this. Like I said, as you can see, I ruined some uh, brake pads because of this edge here. They must be replaced, but I guess nobody has ever replaced them. You can see this edge. So once uh, these become bad, I'm going to replace the whole thing the drums and the pads so now I'm gonna remove the bolt here and remove the what is it called the brake the drum I guess see the hub and it's holding like right there uh, these are special bolts so I will have to remove this arm here this arm and it was kind of hard to remove it on the other side because it's like turning on the inside so you gotta hold it like with the um, you gotta hold it like with this on the inside and turn it with your hand like a, with a wrench uh, I mean if, if it removes easily then then you don't have a problem but if it gets stuck like that then I, I might remove something else 
So, but just to show you, um, these are special bolts, like I said, and uh, this is the tool that I'm using. Um, it has like probably 12 teeth or something. So this is actually the one I need, the biggest one. Um, I previously, on the other side, I, I actually um, did not see these kind. So I thought, uh, I thought it was this kind. So, but they're different. But this actually fits in there. So I just looked, you know, and I put this in there. And I actually ruined the the bolt, kind of. And then I realized, whoa, it's wrong. So uh, I was able to remove this. Uh, I had to, like, knock with my hammer, with a metal hammer, to get it in because I ruined the... Uh, I don't know what it's called but so um, so make sure you use the right uh, tool to remove okay and the new hubs actually don't come with the new bolts uh, only rear ones come with the new bolts but um, they are very expensive uh, the front ones so they're like 50 bucks for four Bolts or something. Okay, so I'm using a half inch socket to put this in there. And I'm gonna use a, a this kind of ratchet, like or breaking bar or whatever it's called. So don't use a gun or anything because you will mess up the bolt. And you will have, you will end up drilling it out, you know, and it's not worth. It. Okay, so uh, it's kind of hard to remove them, to loosen them. So I'm using this kind of um, I don't know what it's called, but it helps breaks free rusted or frozen parts. And stuff like that so let's try to put some on here on all four and let, let it sit for a while okay so uh, I got these three loose these three loose and as you can see, the other one, the fourth one is, the arm is is in the way, so we have to remove it. Okay, so as you remember, I put the stand over there, so now I moved it over here, and since it's like really low, uh, I cannot fit anything in there, so I just left it like that. Um, because I'm going to be removing this arm. Okay. Okay, so I'm using a 24 millimeter socket to remove that arm. So I was able to put my uh, gun in there. I just bent this a little away. So, yeah. Okay, I was able to remove it. So it's, it's nice. 
usually it gets stuck in there and you have to I'm gonna show you there's like If you cannot remove this, so put some put that thing in in there and and loose the loose the nut with a, with a wrench. I guess 24 millimeter wrench, which makes it harder. Okay, now I'm just gonna put something under. I was able to pull it out with this kind of uh, wrench. So. Even though I removed it. still in the way so either I have to turn the wheel other way so I would have access yeah I'm gonna turn the wheel other way or try to insert the brake bar from here okay so I turned the wheel other way to the left and now I have a lot more access to that thing, to that ball. Okay, so I was able to remove this bolt or loosen that ball, and I just need to remove them. And I was using this bar, and it was very hard, so I asked for help. Uh, two guys can do this, you know, not one, unless you're like really buff. So, okay, so these are the bolts that hold the hub. And this is the new hub. And I'm gonna clean the bolts just in case and as you can see there is no thread lock on it I'm gonna use some I'm gonna use this kind uh, it's removable thread lock so and before I put on the thread lock since I use the um, this it contains oil so I'm just gonna clean them first with gasoline and then and then dry them and apply the the glue and put them on okay so I cleaned the bolts I'm just gonna use some gasoline to clean this as well Okay, now we're gonna align this to make sure it fits. Yes, it does. Now I'm gonna put on the glue. 
Okay, once I put one bolt in, I can use this drill, but not too hard, just, just to make it faster. Spread this even. Okay, while inserting uh, the ball, you can just go ahead and shake it a little so it fits right. Just a reminder, these are special bolts, that's why they're expensive, they're designed um, so they don't get rusty and stuff, so your wheel actually does not come off. Okay, now I'm just gonna grab my, um, whatever it's called, and just gonna tie it as hard as I can and put everything back. Okay, tie them as hard as I can. Repeat the process again just to make sure they're tightened the same. Okay, so I'm gonna use my weight to actually push on it as hard as I can. I'm pretty sure you cannot break them because it was like uh, very hard to remove them uh, with my weight and everything. So, but it really depends how much you weigh and so. Okay, I am 130 pounds. I'm just gonna use my weight to do this. I do not know the specs on this, but I think it should be enough because I'm using glue as well. Okay, so repeat the process like for about four or five times. Make sure they're tight down. Um, 
enough, I would say. So you cannot actually turn them and the pressure is the same. So because, I mean, don't be lazy because this is actually, could cost you your life. Okay, now I have to fit this inside there. And since I turned the wheel, it's not gonna fit, so I'm gonna have to turn it back. So this actually fits. Okay, so I turned the wheel. And as you can see, now it fits. Now it fits. So I can just go ahead and tie this. Okay, now I'm gonna use the gun to tie this. Don't over tie this, but just enough. Can't fit this in. Okay, so I jacked up more higher, and now I'm able to. Yes. Oh my god, I was tightening the wrong one. It's actually this one right here. And I, and I didn't have to actually lift the car. And I was like, what happened? And so I was tightening the wrong one. So. I tore it until it was not turning anymore, so that was good. I'm using like five over here, so like the strongest. Um, but you don't want to over tighten them. Okay, now I'm gonna put this on. Then align the the holes so they're not touching the bolts when you put them in. Also, you you, um, you cannot use brakes when this is removed because you know parts can fall out and stuff. And right now it's like since I actually did use some brakes while starting the car, I have to uh, push them from each other away from each other. 
Okay, for in this case, I'm gonna be using these kind of. I don't know where I got them, but I'm just gonna put some in there like this. It's not enough to put something else over here. Okay, so I'm gonna put two wrenches like this. as I can and they go slow just keep pressing okay now you can put that on they will go back I think Pulls back in. So I have to turn the wheel to do this uh, with the gun. Okay, I turned the wheel. Now I have more space. I think I'm gonna use like two and this one Interesting, but it keeps turning like a little by little. So what I'm just gonna do is get the bar because these bolts are not not as strong, I would say. And just try try this with my hands. Oh yeah, it's super tight. Okay, now that we have this installed, now we gotta put all the hoses back in place. Okay, so I put them all back in. Not sure if I did this right, but 
that's how I put them in this bracket and here and over here I put this one wrong because this one's broken over here so I just put it like that so it actually holds at least somehow mm. so yeah everything like this okay so now I turn the wheel again and made it straight so it's easier for me to work and I'm gonna put the wheel on okay so um, when I was like uh, tightening or well, tightening this bolt here I bent this so make sure you bend it back so it's not touching this otherwise it's gonna make noise you don't want that Make sure it's all sitting straight, not touching anything. And I'm also gonna check this one, just with my hand, just in case, uh, with my torque wrench or the torque bar. Okay. Yeah, it's tight. I'm using new bolts. This is the size that goes for my model. Right here. Make sure you get the right one, otherwise you're gonna ruin the thread again. You don't wanna do that. So, I got them on eBay. Then I'm gonna use this kind of ratchet just to make sure they sit tight. Make sure you go like this, something like that. Don't don't go like, you know, because it's not gonna sit right. Go across. And 
then you can go in circle one. Okay, so this is not enough. This is just enough uh, to make it faster. Now I'm gonna use the same bar that I used. And I'm gonna use my weight to do this. But before that, since this is not all wheel drive, I have to bring it down. And don't forget to remove the, uh, the stand. Just a bit so it's not spinning. So the wheel is not turning. Okay. It's not all the way down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my weight to do this. And I'm gonna go across again. Okay. This should be enough. So now I can bring it down and we can start working on the real one. 